So as soon as I realized I didn't need to stay here, then I started looking at the world and you realize the world is small because all the problems I just described is all of Western Europe and America and Canada is all the same. All of South America, if you're flexing and living a good life, you're risking getting your head chopped off. Australia is a fucking penal colony, fuck them. Southeast Asia, a lot of it's crap. I mean, I don't want to bang Thai girls and run around in the sand. Boys, boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know? So you start running out of places and, and, and then you start looking and the only places to really live that I've enjoyed in my life are Dubai, but that's just one city. You get bored of the city, there's nowhere to go. Or Russia and Eastern Europe. So uh, in Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe is very much a safe place unless you piss off the wrong boys, right? So Eastern Europe is a completely different way crime works. In England, crime can be very random. I was walking down the street, wrong place, wrong time, he stabbed me. In Romania, the chance of a random attack is zero. More mafia, more organization. But, but yeah, but if you fuck with the wrong guy, you're gonna disappear. But that's the same everywhere in the world, right? If you yeah. fuck with the wrong guy. So I would rather live in a society knowing that I have to respect certain people, but the chance of random violence is zero. Than England, where you still have to respect certain people, and there's a random violence element.